rapper sentenced for COVID fraud, they're catching up to everybody after music video flaunted stacks of unemployment assistance envelopes and he's helping them. They prove to us time and time and time again that this is definitely the oversharing generation. <laughs> if I made any money fraudulently, I would lie to each and every one of you and tell you that I was just good at podcasting. You would not hear me bragging about how I took money away from a starving family. Tennessee rapper Fontrell Antonio Baines. <laughs> the studio charges by the hour. You can't say that too many times on a track. AKA Nuke Bizzle. <laughs> has been sentenced to 77 months in federal prison after pleading guilty to charges of fraud and illegal firearm possession. On the bright side, he has 77 months to come up with a better rap name. <laughs> New music from Nuke Bizzle? I'd rather not. Baines, Baines is a cool rap name and his real name, was arrested after he bragged about obtaining fraudulent COVID-19 unemployment benefits in a YouTube music video just telling the algorithm everything. Baines defrauded COVID-19 relief programs to obtain unemployment benefits administered by the EDD in the name of third parties, including identity theft victims, the Department of Justice said in a press statement. EDD means Employment Development Department. It does not mean erectile dysfunction. Get your mind out of the gutter. The statement continued the applications for benefits also included false statements about the work histories and in-state residences of the named applicants. The main problem was they got slammed with so many applications, there was no way for them to properly vet them all. So a lot of them just slipped through the cracks in the 2020 song called EDD after California's Employment Development Department Bain says I done got rich off of EDD. Just tell the world. I got a shout out to Donald Trump. I just might spite me a lump sum. The rapper says in one verse. Just Grammy nomination material. <laughs> Actual losses for the EDD and U.S. Treasury Department for Bain's scheming totaled nearly $705,000. Las Vegas, I would have took that money and scampered. You wouldn't have heard nothing out of me. Las Vegas authorities initially arrested Baines in September 2020 after he was found carrying eight debit cards, <laughs> seven of which were in different names. That's right. Having the one card that could be linked back to you grouped together with a bunch of cards that you're not supposed to have is seeming to be par for the course for old Nuke Bizzle. That's just how he gets down. Baines also admitted to having an illegal semi-automatic pistol with 14 rounds of ammunition at his Hollywood Hills home in 2020. Baines also trafficked narcotics because why not? The DOJ said on January 31st, 2020 at Memphis International Airport, Baines attempted to check a bag containing various controlled substances because why? Including... <laughs> including oxycodone, promethazine with codeine, alprazolam, and more than seven pounds of marijuana. Baines has been held in federal custody since being arrested by federal officials in October 2020.